Mary Domenica was born into a peasant farming family May 9, 1837 in Mornese, Italy. In 1860 the town of Mornese was struck by typhoid fever. Later she herself fell to the disease, though she recovered, she lost the physical strength that she enjoyed before. Later, in a mysterious vision, she saw a large building with lots of girls running around in a playground, and heard a voice saying to her, I entrust them to you. For years Don Bosco had been pondering in his heart the project of founding a female institute that could parallel his work for boys. With the wise collaboration of Don Pesterino, he laid the foundation stone in Mornese. On August 5, 1872 the first eleven young women made their religious profession in the hands of the Bishop of Aqui, in the presence of Don Bosco. St. Mary Mazzarillo, together with St. John Bosco, co-founded the Institute of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians. Today, this is what she would like to recommend to her dear sisters. Always study how to become humble. Let humility the virtue you hold dearest. The same goes for piety and modesty. Let obedience be your mend. And never abandon it to do as you like. Act in such a way that. Jesus can say to you my daughter. You are dear to me. I am pleased with what you are doing. Never be discouraged. When you see yourself full of defects. But turn to Jesus and Mary with confidence. And humble yourself without discouragement. Try to learn to love the Lord and overcome yourself. Go ahead with courage and without fear. Always be full of charity for everyone. But especially for your sisters. Support and help one another. Give each other encouragement. Never neglect prayer. In it you will find consolation and comfort. When the cross gets heavy, look at the crucifix and say, Jesus, you are my strength. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Dear friends, uh, we have seen in the introduction about the life sketch of uh, St. Mary Marcerello and um, I'd be dwelling a little more on her during the homily. At the outset, I would like to wish all the Salesian sisters a very happy feast of uh, Mary Marcerello, a humble woman whom God really exalted to a very great height and she was guiding 
the congregation as the mother general and um, a wonderful example for all of us especially at this point of time when we are trying to glorify ourselves trying to promote ourselves this is a saint who teaches teaches all of us great virtue of humility and real um, burning love for jesus himself for the moments we have we have been thinking that we are above everyone filled with lot of pride the moments we have not really loved god sufficiently let us feel sorry and ask the lord's pardon and forgiveness i confess to almighty god brother sisters i have said all my faults i now declare May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory be to God in heaven. Glory be to God on high. Glory be we give you thanks for the glory of the universe. Is on us to all creation. Is on us to all God. first reading a reading from the acts of the apostles some men came down from judea and were teaching the brethren unless you are circumcised according to the custom of moses you cannot be saved and when paul and barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them paul and barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question so being sent on their way by the church they passed through both phenicia and samaria reporting the conversion of the gentiles and they gave great joy to all the brethren when they came to jerusalem they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders and they declared all that god had done with them but some believers who belonged to the party of the pharisees rose up and said it is necessary to circumcise them and to charge them 
to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let our response be, I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Our response, I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Our response, I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Our response, I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is a vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, Unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. A wonderful feast to celebrate. Uh, a lot of uh, great inspirations that we can draw from today's liturgy. One is from the saint and uh, the readings of today is also very, very important uh, uh, text from the Acts of the Apostles as well as from the Gospels. Today we are entering a preparation uh, to, to enter into this Council of Jerusalem or we, call it, we can also call it as uh, Jerusalem Conference. Acts 15 is known for this whole Jerusalem Conference where a lot of problems between the Jews and Gentiles uh, more or less settled with certain amount of agreement and you will see the real conflict between Peter and Paul and how the apostles who were serving the Gentiles and how the apostles who were with the Jews all the time had to somewhere come to a balance because this was a burning issue. And as well as the, the, the gospel reading is a beautiful text, uh, John 15 itself is a, a wonderful text to uh, reflect. But um, I think eventually like uh, we will also deal more on the conference uh, at Jerusalem which uh, as Christians, though we might be familiar, I think we need to uh, recollect and see how the early church settled few issues right at the beginning itself. But for our bit of reflection today, being the feast of St. Mary Mazzarello, and we as being Salesians, and uh, we are of the same family, therefore, uh, I would like to uh, reflect on 
uh, one or two qualities of uh, Mary Matsurello. Her life sketch, of course, you would have seen with a little bit of video and then she didn't live long. A very simple peasant girl who reached a uh, great height and, uh, and was governing uh, the daughters of Mary Elp of Christians, the Salesian sisters, and in a very beautiful way. And I happened to go through a few pages of um, Father Makano. Uh, he has written a book on St. Mary Marcerello. It's a, it's a volume two. And I would like to just quote a uh, few places, the text. Um, a few days back, we were reflecting on the first missionary expedition where you see Don Bosco sending the best as we were reflecting on Paul going as a missionary. Uh, the best being sent, uh, Don Bosco also sent uh, Caliero, one of the best or could have been his successor to Patagonia in South America to be his successor and he goes to a very, very remote place which is also quite dangerous and he goes to uh, the land of fire, Tierra del Fugo and he, he, he goes there as a missionary and always the best was sent for missions. And it's very interesting to note that uh, Caliero was the director, the spiritual director for uh, the newly formed uh, congregation, Salesian Sisters. And Mary Marcelo was also quite comfortable with Father Caliero. And Father Caliero has already led the first batch of missionaries to the, uh, to the mission lands in Patagonia, in South America, Argentina. And uh, there has been a lot of uh, letter communication between uh, Mary Marcelo and uh, uh, Caliero himself. Uh, one of this, uh, uh, in, on July 18, 1876, mother writes to Father Caliero. See the words, beautiful. When are you coming to see our nest? They are waiting. Uh, Marcelo also is ready to send the sisters as missionaries. So when are you going to come? to see our nest. We are expecting you shortly. You should see how the number of daughters of Mary Help of Christians has grown. So, hurry since we are eagerly waiting for you. This is, we see the emergency in which she is addressing Kaliro. But you know what, this is what has uh, struck me a lot. Then with great familiarity, mother continues. Now listen to what I want to tell you. Save a place for me in America. America would mean South America. I really mean it. It is true that I am good for nothing. But I know how to make polenta. It's a, it's a, a dish which they were eating in the oratory those days. It was also it's a poor, poor people's food. But I know how to make polenta. I can keep an eye on the laundry and make sure they don't use too much soap. And if you like, I will also learn to cook a little. I will do everything possible to make everyone happy if only you let me come. You see a mother general writing to the, to the missionary and uh, uh, there, is, there is an urgency to come uh, to send her sisters to the, to the mission lands. And again, she, she, she writes this uh, to Kaliro saying, you always say that we are still young, but it seems to me that we are already quite old. It is true that we are good for nothing, but with the Lord's help and our goodwill, I hope we will succeed in something. So hurry and call us. If you write to tell us when we should leave, we will prepare something very nice to bring along. You see, um, uh, the way she writes with certain amount of familiarity, 
urgency and of course the deep love for missions again one more thing you will have to send us the fare for the trip because we have nothing words of uh, mary marcello makes us to think how the congregation was how the congregation began and the 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 way the sisters the way the religious live their life of poverty and there is a zeal for love of christ and uh, and uh, there is also another time when when there was there was an opportunity for her to have an audition with the holy father and she was supposed to go with uh, uh, father kaliero she says can i come if i come with you will that bring down the standard of you because generally holy father people when they go to meet a holy father all learned and educated people go if i come with you will it bring down your standard so i feel little uh, awkward to come with you because i am just a country woman difference it's it's humility she has lived this virtue literally but it is said also in the the today's office if you go through it is mentioned there mary marcello had so much of humility that god really lifted her up and one of the qualities one of the talents which god gave her very strongly was a talent to govern that's why it is said uh, though uh, the uh, salesian congregation the daughters of salesh uh, mary help of christians they they were formed by another priest don pesterino who was who was a native of mornese where uh, marcello was born he was the one who formed an association with uh, with these um, young girls who were volunteering for um, for uh, uh, social work as well as volunteering for god's work he happens to meet don bosco and don bosco takes him to the oratory and pesterino gets attracted by don bosco to live in the oratory and of course pesterino says uh, don bosco says you get back to mornese because people need you there and form these young girls and things like that this was also, this was also the time don bosco was um, contemplating of starting a congregation for the girls uh, for the welfare of the girls and of course eventually uh, don bosco and uh, marcello they meet up and that is how the whole um, um, congregation uh, uh, actually starts and the pesterino has a very uh, major role in this whole Uh, beginning of this uh, congregation now the point here is they say a personality like don bosco a multifaceted personality a very talented person very efficient person a crowd puller a po- person who can make his way through he can influence vatican he can influence anyone in the world if this man as interested the whole congregation to a peasant woman in the person of mary marcello who was not educated very poor very humble but he found in her a capacity a talent for governing and this gift was given to her by god himself as as a sign of his presence in her life because she lived such a humble life so this is what uh, i would like to uh, draw a lesson for today so uh, reflection as we see the whole jerusalem conference is going to uh, start off uh, there is in 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 every parish community or in every any community for that matter we need to have certain uh, governing and administration skills otherwise things will go in various uh, in, in its own direction and any structure or any organization will not survive so god rightly put this uh, gift into Uh, mary marcello's uh, uh, life and again we see her love for christ was so so extraordinary as we have seen in the gospel uh, i am the vine you are my branches she literally lived like a branch with uh, jesus himself and she was burning with her love for christ i think these two virtues humility and love uh, which characterizes this uh, great saint a humble saint 
And I think we can learn these two great lessons from this saint. And if you can, if we read uh, a lot more, we really get, uh, I mean, we really get moved by this woman who was so simple, humble, and yet was very powerful. During this Holy Eucharist, let's pray in a very special way that we may learn to imitate this great saint and we may imbibe this great virtues of humility and love within our own selves and thus create change within us, within the community and of course create a kingdom at large. Take our breath, we ask you take our hearts, we love you take our lives, oh Father we are your Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, Father, the gifts we offer you, the sign of our spiritual sacrifice, through the intercession of St. Mary Dominica, whom you have given us as a teacher of life, Grant that in our daily work we may respond joyfully to your call. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In Saint Mary Dominica Marcello, the wise and vigilant virgin, you manifested caring fidelity and patient kindness, since your humility and laborious poverty, joyful obedience and trusting spiritual abandon. Through your spirit you called her to join with St. John Bosco in founding a new religious family to offer young people a sign of the immense love you have given us in Christ your Son. And we united in fraternal exaltation. Praise and bless you, Father, with all the saints of heaven. As we proclaim your glory, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George Anthony, Sami, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on us since but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, may our sharing at this Eucharistic table, following the example of Saint Mary Dominica Marcerello, nourish our desire for you, the one and supreme good. May it build up our love for one another and increase our joy in serving you in our neighbor. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass ascended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God.